We are continuing our modded run. And today we're going to do some more building and try to take on the queen jellyfish. And we are running out of rooms. Our base is getting populated real quickly with all of the NPCs we got. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, there's what we wanted. Need that to make some armor. Another workstation for our collection. Okay, we got that. Let's get the danger shards out. Danger shards. There they are. Putrid shaft. Staff. Eh, that, that's an interesting weapon, but I don't think we're gonna... Can it pierce? Doesn't say anything about piercing. Dark wave. Hmm. Anyways, let's make this danger armor. Let's get dangerous. <laughs> oh. I wonder how many people remember that. Darkwing Duck? When there's trouble, you call DW. Darkwing Duck! Let's get dangerous. Alright, what buff do I got now? Oh, nice, up to 27 uh, armor. Uh, set bonus immune to most damage inflicting debuffs. That is useful. And I'm up to 27 armor, so that's pretty damn good, too. Alright. Let's drop off some stuff here. Got tungsten to you got the demonite. Oh, no. I want to keep that. Unfortunately, we did not get the the um, stuff we need to make that. And now we've got two out of the three pieces of Heaven's Armor. I'm curious about that. It seems like they drop from bosses. Or at least the first time you beat them, a piece will drop. The Shield of Cthulhu is a material, huh? Let's check out what it can do. Ooh, Supersonic Soul. We need a bunch of items. That's like pretty much every dashing movement item. Including a bunch of the mounts. Put down our keg. Okay, let's see if we can't make our way to the forest, uh, the ocean from the other side. It might, it'll be easier than going through the glacier every time we want to get to the ocean. Hopefully it will be. 
Okay, so what... Right, taking damage increases melee abilities. 8% increased melee speed. 6% increased movement speed. Okay. This seems like a melee set to me. Ooh, traveling merchant. Must head back. This point in the game, always checking traveling merchant. Maybe he'll have the magical hat. Oh! Oh my god, asking ye shall receive! DPS meter, yoink! Uh, brick layer, yeah, yeah, we're gonna want that later, at least. And we got the money for it now, so why not? Okay, okay, so there was, um, something we could craft with the magic hat. Okay, we need to make mana crystals, and that makes the magic workbench. Okay, I'm probably going to put up a layer of uh, platforms over here. Yeah, let's do that right now. We'll put up a layer of platforms up here. There we go. So now we have room for more crafting benches and such. Anyways, we're gonna have to wait for nightfall to make mana stars. Ooh, I was not paying attention to my hunger. There we go. Ah, dead bird! Okay, no bird meat. Curses! Piggy! Bacon and lard. Nice got a shine potion. Squirrel on a stick. No, squirrely. You died too young. Ooh, lead. Oh no, iron. I'm sorry. Whatever, it doesn't matter. And we got Orc. Ooh, he splattered all over the place. All right. Oh. See, they're not dropping any loot. Which I'm wondering... I'm thinking they're supposed to, probably. Okay, so now we're at the reach, if I remember correctly. Pretty sure that's what these mean. I don't need 10. Ooh, but iron. Iron, I'm guessing that's the one that's 
Look what I saw glowing a bit down here. Eh, I don't see it. Okay, whatever. Doesn't matter. Moving on. Funny meat. Okay, so we are going to have to pass through the jungle, and from what it said when I beat the Eye of Cthulhu, it sounds like there's new mobs in the jungle. So that'll be fun. And here we go, the jungle. Don't quite feel like exploring the underground yet. No, okay. Just had to check to make sure that mound wasn't anything important. Froggy, no! <clears throat> Alright. I saw that treasure chest. I mean, I can't exactly loot it all right now, can I? But... Actually, it looks like I might be able to after all. Get rid of that clay. Get rid of the grenade. Ooh, orn... Hmm. There we go. I wasn't even trying to swing at the, um, guy up there. Ooh, did you drop a bottle or something? And why is my mouse so jerky this time? Okay, it's just an empty bottle. Fragment. Nice. Let's get rid of uh, glow sticks. I'm trying to remember what we needed like 10 of those for. There was something we needed it for. Killed Goblin Scout. No Goblin Invasion for now. I wanted one, too. Oh, wait. Don't they drop a map or, or a piece of torn cloth? Oh, you kind of do want that torn cloth. 
There we go, tattered cloth. There we go. Okay, this is gonna be a pain. I can sense that already. I hesitate to think of how difficult it's going to be once the uh, hard mode starts. Oh, nice. Got a blood moon. Which means patches m might show up. And we got those useless shards. You know what? I might as well head back. Hellfire Orc Warrior, interesting. Nothing new there. Right, we need to collect falling stars. We need five we need two mana stars. That we can make that uh, new crafting station.
a stealthy. Whoa, I can fly. Whoa. Patches! Oh, he's a rune mage! Wonder what that adds. Oh, he can cast fireballs. Did somebody say one of those actually a penguin? Is that what it said? Actually a penguin? Okay, now we're moving into my fire arrows. We may have to switch weapons soon. You know what? Let's switch weapons now. Alright, let's get this guy killed. Okay, yeah, switching weapons. We're going back to this. I know it's taking a bunch of ammo, but it's also doing a bunch more damage. Blood Moon Warrior. I don't remember that. Haven't seen that one yet. Well, that's a big maggot, isn't it? I'm going to have to go upstairs and reload. But on the plus side, <laughs> zombie slaying all day every day.
tiny maggot. Got him. Oh crap, we got one of them kunai throwers there. Okay, so the bag of potential must have started dropping after we killed the Eye of Cthulhu. Because I know for a fact that I've never seen it before that. Okay, I need to eat. We need to get up, reload, re uh, empty our ammo, or empty our supplies. I am so sick of knockback. Oh, wow. We got a ton of ammo there. Okay, so we didn't get that many stars. But we got a bunch of other crap there. Some stuff we can't even loot yet. Brave Buster. And then that's that healing book, I believe. All right. What's this? Stigmata. Less health, the more damage. Okay, so basically we equip that, we get more damage, the lower our health is. That's an interesting possibility. I uh, will try and keep that in mind there, because... Okay, we really need to sell some of those. I'll put that in there. Um, got a chest for those. Okay. We'll melt down those before we put them away. We'll sell the severed hands. We don't need those. So yeah, we need like six more stars, and then we can create the um, the state, the magic station, or whatever it's called. I can't remember. Um, wow, we used up all of our. Uh, what were those bullets? I don't want to say titanium. They weren't titanium. Ah. Okay, drop off our wood. Oh, we got a mini meteor. Gathered before the destroyer slash brain of Cthulhu was defeated. Okay, so it changes as we beat the bosses, apparently. And this time we got cash. Okay. And our new guy spawned down here. He's a zombie. And... Ooh. Minion knockback. Cool. Spellbook teeth sends out life stealing teeth. Could be useful. Uh, attack might poison the hit enemy. Alright. And then we got rotten chunk and vertebrae here, as well as a vial of blood. Okay, I'm buying one of those because I'm curious what it makes. That's the thing with a modded game. You have to. Trot check what each and every item pretty much is used for. Okay, uh, Blood Moon Medallion, right? Spellbook Blood Transfusion. Interesting. Uh, 
Okay, we got a prehistoric amber. Summons a T-Rex or angry pterodactyl to attack your foes. Yes, please. Okay, uh, life leech coating. Throne attacks will heal you. Blood potion increases mainly mind and movement speed. Very nice. Soul stone. Did we get a mana bobble? No, I'm pretty sure I would have equipped that if we got a mana bobble, but that is interesting. 8% increased minion damage, but maximum life decreased by 20. We better leave so the zombie guy can move in. But there's still some stuff to pick up from patches there. Alright, we were going to sell those, weren't we? Uh, okay, zombie boy. Okay, now if I remember correctly, we can sail the good book. Yeah, because that's a healer class item, and we don't have another person playing with us, so... Yeah. Okay, let's pop uh, the bag of potentials into the extractinator. Thorium, 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 thorium. Is that all that thing has? Is thorium more? Would be interesting. Yeah, let's see. Let's make some thorium bars here. Nice, got two bars. We have enough to actually make anything useful. Oh, we got more thorium ore there still we can craft with. Okay. There we go, that's what I was looking for. So we've got four thorium bars. We can make a thorium boomerang. Interesting possibility there. Thorium bow. Yeah. Thorium dagger. Eh. Um, <clears throat> we do know that thorium is used later on for higher grade material. So let's save the thorium for then. Okay, there was still some untreated leather here to pick up. Oh, we got an egg. Toss that into our food chest. Speaking of food... Hunger was getting a bit low there. And I'm... Am I out of apples? I am out of apples, which means it's time to make like a lumberjack. Okay, let's drop off our wood first. Plop down a chest. Uh, I'm probably going to need to make some platforms here to put up more room for chests. Oh, so much to do. All right, um, let's see here. Got our axe, let's get to work. There we are. So chop down some trees for apples, replant acorns. And get wood in the process.
How are we doing on apples there? Oh, we got a full stack. Let's go for two. There we go. That's good enough. Okay, so yeah, the bag of potential will drop from any enemy now after we've written the eye of Cthulhu. Okay, so let's get back to trying to reach that ocean biome on the right. Again, we're not going to the ocean on the left because of the, gl uh, the glacier in the ice biome has enemies that could, uh, well, by now it probably three-shot us rather than one. bundle of apples up there. There we go. Desert Feather. I'm going to have to check that. Holy crap. Way too many enemies. Okay, that desert feather. Yeah, it's a material, that's what I figured, from the Calamity mod. Alright. We'll check that out once we go back to base. There's another item that changed because we beat the um the eye. Or maybe I just didn't bother killing um vultures beforehand. Oh. And there's the reach. Whoa! Boom! <laughs> Oh, it's always so cool. So the reason they did that is one of the prefixes from the uh, enemy prefixes mod. And thankfully that doesn't cause falling damage because, oh boy, that would have been a mess. Okay, so if it's another Blood Moon, we probably should head back. But if it's not, we'll continue on. And it's looking like it's not going to be. I'm pretty sure by now it would have said Blood Moon. But then again, we haven't seen any zombies yet, so... Sorry about the hiccups. Torches as we go. Might just be darker because, well, it is raining out. What the heck? Okay, that was nothing, apparently. 
Just like, okay, it's probably just one of those reach decorations that the spirit mod put in. Yeah, okay, so that launching prefix, that's the ones that will send you flying. Gotta watch out for those. And what do we got here? Oh, no, just once again, decorations. Okay, yeah, that's another thing. Don't want to fall into those pits. You see those uh, reach decorations around here? Those pits will have spikes in them. Heart crystal. That's mine. Okay, this is interesting. We're in some kind of new biome or something. Much I'd like to continue exploring this, not right now. You've got other things to do. Especially with the way they just keep slapping into us. Stop it! Stop it! Ancient bark. Whoa, 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 ow, ow, spikes, spikes. A trapper? Crap. Ah, dang it. Lost three gold. Oh, well. Got some interesting materials there. Look forward to seeing what they make. Ah. Alright, let's deposit our cash. Alright, we gotta... <laughs> Tell me. Alright. Guide... Let's see what we can make with these here. Husk stalk sword. All right. Spear staff. That sounds interesting. Okay, and then uh, what else was... Oh, desert feather. Sun spirit staff. Summons a solar spirit to protect you. Desert Feather and Sandstone Bricks. Okay, we've got two Desert Feathers, so we just need to get some of these Sandstone Bricks, which shouldn't be too hard. Whoa, and that is definitely a hard mode weapon. Okay, that's an upgraded Sun Spirit Staff, okay. Uh, Death Valley Duster, once again, hard mode. Sandstorm in a bottle, right, right. Okay, 
So we need to get one more of those feathers, then we need to get some of that sandstone. Which I'm pretty sure can be crafted from sand. And there's one last item for us to check what it does. And just as I suspected, it looks like it's main... Oh. No, okay, hero's bow. Cool. We need the quasar for that. But otherwise, it's mainly used in crafting this uh, hux husk stalk weapons. Chan and leaf, ancient block. How many chan and leaves you got? We only got two. Yeah, not enough. Okay. Let's pop that into the extractinator. More thorium, huzzah! Okay, so there's another falling star. We need four more, and we should be able to craft magnifying glass. Increases critical strike by 5%. Interesting. Oh, no, we only need three more falling stars, and we have to craft that craft, the, um, whatever station. We. I'm interested in how those um, new staffs, how well those will work. I have found that flying summons tend to work better than uh, grounded ones. Well, that's all of those we need. What the heck? That was definitely different. I hadn't seen one of those yet. Whoa, whoa, falling. Which reminds me, I need to try and find some of those, um... That's new, too. So, yeah, it looks like, um, defeating the eye triggered the spawning of a bunch of new mobs. We got pit bulls now. Oy vey. Somebody's gonna call PETA on me for harassing the animals. Kill all these poor pit bulls. Ah, dang it. Oh, 
okay, well, there's another star. Nice. Okay, so we should have enough now to craft. Oh, dang it. There we go. Okay, so we got those. Now we need a we had a bunny set aside for just this occasion. It's in one of these chests. So we just gotta hunt it down. There it is. And there's the magic cat as well. And we've now got a magic workbench. Uh, looks like something out of, um... Oh, what it was it? Uh, Don't Starve. Okay, so real quick... Let's check out what this magic workbench can be used for. <sighs> and it doesn't say. No, oh, isn't that nice? Uh, let me check this page real quick. Okay, so one thing we need it for is to craft the Recycler of Matter. That's another thing I've not heard of. Let's check that out. Okay, well. Oh, wait, one second here. Here we go. Nope, not going to show me. Okay, let's get back to the game. But we got it crafted for when we need it. That's the important thing. That is an interesting weapon. Okay. Traveling Merchant is back. Huzzah. Where are you, you greedy little? Oh, I see you. Already got. Okay, we're good.
I don't think I've got any sand, but I might. Okay, I'm pretty sure we needed like sandstone bricks. And we've got sandstone blocks, which we can't use. Okay. Well, let me just real quick. Sandstone brick. I think we'll be able to craft that out of sandstone blocks, but what do I know? Okay, so hardened sand blocks can't be do that. You know what? I bet you we have to find the pyramid, which is going to be a pain. Okay, let's continue going. And wow, I'm dropping frames like crazy, guys. Um, one second while I try and fix that. Oh. So I'm going to lose connection here in a moment. We'll be back.